Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video where I got some Call of Duty World War II beta gameplay for you guys, because I only play on Xbox One, and of course, I have to wait a week later for the beta to come out for Xbox One, and here I am, finally putting out some gameplay for you guys on my channel of Call of Duty World War II, and this game is an absolute blast, guys, I am having so much fun, but there's actually one thing I want to say in this video that I'm actually a little bit worried about, and that is the submachine guns, I'm actually a little bit worried about that the submachine guns in Call of Duty World War II are going to be, like, overpowered, because, you know, it seems like everybody runs around with some machine guns, more specifically the PPSH. Now, I kind of understand that the PPSH is kind of an iconic gun in the Call of Duty series. I mean, it, it was brought into Grover Crovey in Black Ops 3 in the Zombies map, um, but then they eventually put it in Supply Drops in Black Ops 3, and I don't know, a lot of people just love the PPSH, and of course it was going to be in Call of Duty World War 2, and that's one reason why a lot of people are using it, but it's also a very, very good gun. Like, compared to, like, the Grease gun um, that I've used anyway, it seems the PPSH is a pretty good gun compared to the rest of the submachine guns and let alone the submachine guns are pretty powerful compared to like other weapons in the game like the assault rifles and especially the light machine guns. I'm honestly super disappointed in the light machine guns in this game because you know I uh, you know when you first start off you have to pick a certain division. I actually picked the um, division that had the light machine guns which I can't even remember what division that's called. Um, it's called uh, armored that's right so I started off with the armored division because you know I'm a light machine gun kind of guy and I never see a lot of people run around with light machine guns so I'm like you know what? I kind of want to use a light machine gun so I started you know, using a light machine gun and Oh boy, that did not work out so well, but I've actually unlocked some more attachments, so the weapon's a lot better now, but still, like, I feel like, for some reason, some machine guns are still, like, the most powerful weapons in the game, and I hope that they don't overpower the assault rifles or the light machine guns. Of course, there's always going to be those snipers out there, there's, going, there's always going to be snipers in Call of Duty, but also the shotguns, you know, the shotguns have a uh, incinerary shell once you're using the right uh, division for the shotgun, and those things are pretty darn powerful, they are very, very fun to use, I'm not gonna lie, I actually uh, am having loads of fun using shotguns with incendiary shells, but um, I can see why they can get annoying sometimes. But you know, honestly, I'm not as annoyed um, by the incendiary shells as I am by submachine guns, you know, especially the PPSH. It's such a powerful gun, and I really hope the STG, which is the assault rifle in the game, I guess the STG is a pretty good gun, but I don't actually see a lot of people using it yet. I mean, you kind of have to level up a lot more to actually earn it, and I'm kind of going up against a lot of low levels. But the thing is, uh, PPSH and the STG, I really hope it doesn't turn to be the BAL-27 in the ASM-1 we saw in Advanced Warfare, because of course that was Sledgehammer Games' last Call of Duty game. I don't want there to be one gun in this game that totally overpowers the rest of the guns. I just really don't want that to happen, so hopefully, later in the future, when the game actually does come out in November, they'll make some changes to like weapon balancing and stuff like that, where some guns might need a buff, or like the PPSH and the STG might actually need a nerf. And the one thing I will notice is that there's like literally no reason recoil in this game like there is barely any recoil on like any of these guns it's like super hard to even notice it and I really think they should add some recoil to these weapons especially the PPSH like the PPSH is literally like a laser beam and I don't know why it's like that I mean it's a fast firing some machine gun it should have a, some recoil to it so I'm not sure why the PPSH has like such freaking low recoil but anyway as in my little bit complaint here for Call of Duty World War 2 it's just the some machine guns I feel like the PPSH just needs to be uh, has it needs, just needs more recoil honestly like maybe add another like additional shot to kill for the PPSH but also add recoil to that weapon because that weapon is a pretty darn good like dang good submachine gun in my personal opinion but anyway that's just what I want to tell you guys in this video also I just wanted to show off some Call of Duty World War 2 gameplay here on my channel of course like the beta's already been out for a week so like everybody's like been making all these video ideas so it'd be kind of weird if I made them now because people have like already made them already so anyway this is what, that's all I want to talk about for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Call of Duty videos later in the future and I shall catch you guys later.